Hey everyone, it's Sean. In the previous video, I walked you through how to create a beer can with a logo on it as a symbol and all that fun stuff. In this video, I'm gonna walk you guys through how to create a 3D shape um, that is a combination of several 3D shapes. Uh, I'm gonna be walking you through how to create a bottle cap. Um, and uh, let's just jump right in. So I'm still in our beer can project. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go to our layers panel and I'm going to hide the um, beer can uh, build layer. I'm going to create a new layer and I'm going to call this bottle cap. Cool. Let's just zoom on a little bit closer. I'm going to close out of the symbols panel. I'm going to collapse our layers panel and a bottle cap. Let me just pull up my example. Uh, looks like this. Just going to copy and I'm going to bring it into our document. I'm going to paste. Cool. So the bottle cap is kind of interesting because it's being made out of uh, two different sets of shapes here. It's being made out of the actual cap shape and then it's being made out of all of these really sort of pointed cool shapes down in here. And how do we get that? It's actually not that complicated, but in order to do 3D work, you kind of have to first think in a 2D manner. If you were to have a beer bottle cap um, or just a bottle cap in front of you uh, and look at it from a complete top-down point of view, so you're only seeing the basic uh, shape of um, the cap itself, uh, what you might notice is it looks kind of like a polygon that has tons of different sides, right? And we could use the polygon tool in Illustrator to achieve it, but the other tool that we could use that is a kind of underutilized tool is actually the star tool. And you know, you can draw, drag out, whoops, uh, you can drag out a star probably if you've never used this tool before and it works, or you could do the cool thing and click once and you can set some parameters. You can set the radius of the star, you can set how many points the star has. Um, this is from the previous example that I was trying to build uh, where I was actually building this. So I know 25 points seems to work pretty well. And uh, what we can do is we can just sort of move this closer into the center of the page. If um, I'm also going to go into my layers panel and change something for you guys so it's a bit easier to see what's happening. I'm just going to change this to a red color. There we go. So now you can see my layer outlines a little bit better. So with the star selected and I press the A key for direct selection, you get all of these sort of corner uh, adjustment points that we can use. If I click and drag on one of them, you'll see that it draws or it sort of rounds out and changes the corner of each of the shapes. What I want to do is sort of bring them all um, in a little or like in closer together and round them out a little bit more. Right, And now if you think about your bottle cap, this sort of looks like the base of that shape does, right? That's pretty cool. Um, so what we can do is we can apply some 3D effects to this now. The 3D effect that I want to apply to this is extrude and bevel. And what you can see right at the gate is we have this cool like cog sort of shape, right? Looks like a, a clock mechanism or something. And uh, the next task that we have to do is sort of um, angle it to the same angle that our beer bottle would have been. I know we didn't make a beer bottle, but for argument's sake, right? We can think about the beer can that we made. Our beer can um, had a degree of five degrees with zero degrees and zero degrees. Uh, in our previous um, tutorial. And while that sort of works, the problem is this blue face is actually the face of the front of our bottle cap. And I want this face to actually be on top, not facing me, but facing upwards. And so to do that, we know 90 degrees is going to make it face upwards, right? But we want to get just a little bit of a different perspective so we can see the top of the cap um, and we want that perspective to ideally be the same perspective that our bottle would have been designed on. In this case I'm referencing the can from the previous video. So I know the can was at 5%. 
So that means that our bottle cap needs to be at 85% uh, or 85 degrees, sorry, keep using percentage, on the x-axis here. And this is where we can get into our extrude depth sort of funness as well. Uh, we can just sort of decrease the extrude depth here. Um, I'm going to sort of think it probably has to be around 10. Yeah, I'm going to say 10. Maybe even 5. Or, hmm. No, you know what? 10 is fine. There we go, guys. Cool. 10. And we can look at our shading. Uh, do we want to use diffuse shading? Probably not. Plastic shading it is. Diffuse shading has its moments. Um, not as often as plastic shading does though. So just keep that sort of stuff in mind. And uh, I kind of like it with the really harsh shadows. That way you can really tell what's going on here. So we can hit OK. And now the next thing, how do we get this shape, this sort of rounded top head here? And it's actually really simple. Again, all you have to do is think about what the shape is in real life and how can I mimic that shape? So if, or sorry, not in real life, in 2D. So if we were to think about this, it looks, it has a rounded, um, it has a rounded edge a flat topped surface and because we know we have to build things in halves for them to really work properly that to me sounds like a rounded or a rectangle with one rounded corner so we can draw out our rectangle we can press the a key for our direct selection tool and we can select just one of our corners here by just clicking and dragging out and selecting the one corner and we can drag it in all right and we can probably just shrink this in half, about there. And the next thing we can do is we can come up to 3D, hit revolve this time instead of extrude bevel, and we want to revolve it along the right hand side, okay? And now we want this to be the 5%, followed by the 0% and the 0%. Except this I think actually needs to be negative five. It's all about playing around and figuring out what works best, right? Lovely. Uh, the, yep, that looks good. Um, now, because the way Revolve works, you don't have the option to play around with like an extrude depth. So you just have to select uh, the two bottom points using the direct selection tool and bring them up to be a lot tighter to the base of that shape. We can then click and drag on the shape and uh, sort of coordinate the edge with, yeah, there we go, with the edge of the bottle cap itself. And we might just need to do a little bit of toying around here in terms of scaling. So you can grab the uh, the beveled edge, sort of rough sides of this, and we can scale it out a little bit more. And then you just have to sort of play around with the positioning of it. Whoop. And this might take a little bit of fiddling and fussing around with, but I promise you, it can work. Okay, there we go. And we want this side to be just slightly underneath as well. There we have it. And we can drag, we can click on our rectangular cap and sort of just place it so that it sits on top of everything nice and neatly. And there we go. We have our bottle cap. Uh, sort of ready to go. The only difference between mine that we just built and the one over here is uh, the shading on top of the lid, um, which you can go back in and we can click on 3D Revolve and we can adjust the shading so that it's less from the side and more from on top. Just like so. There you go. And the really cool thing about this too is we can click on Map Artwork and it can find there it is. Here's the lid. Yeah. Okay, wait. Where is that the lid? Hmm. Either way, you guys can play around with it. And you can go ahead and you can add in our beer logo one more time. So this is actually the side of our lid. So <laughs> if you place a symbol somewhere and you don't want it, you can just hit the clear button. And you can look for another side and try and figure out which side it is that, there we go, that it's trying to apply itself to. And you can uh, use your scale tool, uh, you know, just by holding shift and scaling it um, uh, proportionally. And you can place the label of our uh, sort of beer 
on the low on the top of the cap like so hit okay confirm the changes and there we go we have a nice uh, bottle cap for a potential 3d beer bottle if you wanted to um, that's how to make complex sort of 3d shapes by breaking it down into series of smaller shapes matching the perspective of those shapes so that they sit nicely together uh, and you know just sort of working more in that 3d space in the next video I'm going to show you guys how to use the appearance panel and create really cool dynamic 3d typography that's fully customizable every single time so I'll catch you there see ya